Hey, I want to talk to you about something that's going on with me right now. So, let's get into it. I'm finally facing it all, fearless. So, I have kidney disease. I'm actually at stage 4 kidney disease right now. And, uh, the doctor says that I'll probably be on dialysis or needing a new kidney by the end of this year. However, he did say, you know, a year ago that I'll probably be, you know, be okay for another 10 years. So, with how my kidneys are trending it might be sooner than that who knows I sure don't uh, I did a couple tests haven't heard back from him yet so once I figure out those tests and he sees you know how bad my kidneys are he'll let me know and we'll kind of proceed from there but in the meanwhile I thought I would tell you guys what's going on because I'm eventually gonna have to tell you guys and why not like this right so what is kidney disease you may ask well kidney disease is in five stages uh, stages one through two usually not noticeable people don't usually go to the nephrologist for it you know the levels aren't super crazy usually around three is when you start seeing your kidney doctor or your nephrologist. Usually when you start to develop back pains and other things start going on, fatigue, whatnot. And then they'll start helping you regulate your blood sugar or hypertension or your blood pressure or whatever it is that may be causing it to try to help you, you know, make that stage three kidney disease last as long as possible before you end up to stage four. Stage four where things get kind of serious that's where you're in that downhill slope and things your kidneys aren't you know filtering out as much as they do the kidneys if you didn't know filter out toxins and wastes and all that stuff and uh, you urinate it out and as the disease progresses or as the worse your kidneys get you don't do that anymore so you start to build up fluid around your legs your stomach your heart some people in their face you start being itchy all over and you just start to experience fatigue and anemia which is you know low blood count and a lot of other things I mean the list there's, there's a little bit of a list and if you guys want to hear about the list I'll be happy to talk about it later maybe we can go in through a, a formal education route where I can describe everything that I've learned about kidney disease but at stage four is where you start looking into either a new kidney or dialysis treatment and so my doc based on my levels wants me to get on either to talk to a surgeon soon to get a fistula or something placed in my stomach so I can do dialysis at home um, but that, you know, the, the fistula, they'll, um, kind of cut in here and run the veins together and one vein will get really bulgy and thick and then that's how they'll access for hemodialysis. It's for the blood or the other way where they put a tube in your stomach that kind of runs into your abdominal cavity and you'll empty out the fluid and then replace it with good fluid and that's usually, I mean, there's, there's different types of that. But that only lasts six years. This lasts, I think it was like 20 years. So, yeah. And then that's usually when you hit stage five. You hit stage five and you need dialysis and your kidneys are failing. And then, I mean, it's all done by percentage, how much, you know, what's the percentage of your kidneys filtering and how long is it going to last and you know your doctors will run the blood work and uh, and do some other tests to figure that out 
So, how did this happen? This happened because of my diabetes. I didn't, I didn't take care of my blood sugars when I was in high school. And when I started to really care, when I got married and had children, it was kind of too late. Damage was done. My, I was probably already in stage one or two kidney disease at that point. Just didn't know it. And then because of that, you know, because the kidneys actually can affect your hypertension, your high blood pressure, it kind of makes it difficult to regulate. So the longer it went on, the more damage it did to my kidneys. Even though I had got my A1C down and I was doing better with my glucose, it was just kind of too late. So definitely those decisions we make, you know, impact us in the future. And if I, you know, to be honest, I knew that I was going to do something to myself. I just didn't care. And now if I can, you know, talk to the old me and be like, hey man, you should care because you're going to have a wife, you're going to have kids, you know, you, you're you going to have fun with them and you're you're going to have all these memories and you risked it all, you know, because you wanted a little bit of fun and not caring about what you ate or drank or if you bolused, gave insulin. But now, now I care. Now I care. So, there's really no one else to blame but myself. It's definitely my fault. And, yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. So what's next? Well, I got a education class coming up. Me and my wife are going to go to that. We're going to learn more about kidney disease. We're going to figure out, you know, what our options are, you know, between different types of dialysis and, you know, kidney possibilities. And then I'm scheduled to see the surgeon eventually. I don't know when, but I'm scheduled to see the surgeon where we're going to decide what kind of, you know, if I'm going to get something in my stomach or, you know, something done in my arm. And we'll talk with him about that. And then I need to talk to the donor team. And I don't know when that's going to be. And we're going to talk about even if I can get a new kidney. I'm not sure if I can or not. Depending on my health and how everything goes. So, got to find that out. But if any of y'all have information out there. If uh, you have questions that will kind of motivate me to, to to know stuff, please let me know. Or if you've been through it before and you've experienced it, let us know. I, we would appreciate that because, you know, this is kind of a big learning curve for us, trying to figure it all out. So, yeah, you know, definitely, you know, shoot me a message or leave a comment. Let me know what you all think. And uh, when I get more information, I'm definitely going to keep you all posted. So when I go through that class, I'm going to try to get some footage of that, and then maybe I can do a little education thing about my my time there. Maybe sometime. I think it should be next week when we can do that. And then when I find out about the surgeon stuff, I'll definitely keep you guys posted about that. And the kidney stuff, and if there's anything else you guys think that I could look into and help out in what way I can, I guess. But I want to kind of take you on this journey with me as I go through it. And if, and if anything, it kind of distracts me a little bit, kind of sends my focus, you know, so I'm not so overwhelmed, but I'm looking at this as a, as a point of education, as a point of opportunity to kind of maybe touch and help somebody else that's all anybody wants to do right they just want to help they want to they want someone else to learn like i definitely wish i could have smacked myself around as a kid right now but you know it's kind of impossible but maybe i could talk to some other kid about it and let him know that this is kind of serious and it's rough it's tough 
you're hormonal, you're going through a lot of stuff, and you don't really want to deal, but it's your future. You you hold the keys to your, your own health, as they say. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me on this meeting. Thank you guys for coming and showing up and listening. Hear me talk for a little bit. I appreciate any kind of support out there. You know, in whatever direction. Maybe, like I said, maybe I can do some more of these. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Or very, very soon, possibly. But I don't know what to do with my hand.